Joaquin Lynch Deadman thoughts. So as I got closer to the village there at the end, you know, after saving Jenny, I could kind of figure out that she wasn't gonna make it, but they do play on that, you know, they, I mean, Lynch is like, are you seriously bringing her? What do you think is going to happen, you know, and it's just, you can tell Kane is in denial there at the end, you know, it's, no, she will make it, she has to, you know, and then she pick, he picks her up and says, yeah, I figured out that she wasn't going to make it. I didn't think that he was going to be able to save any of the mercenaries, but, you know, he does only manage to save one of them, and that guy is not exactly happy with Kane, you know. I mean, throughout the game, every time you meet someone, well, maybe except for, you know, the Vault Breaker the first, you know, everyone is like, who let you in? What are you doing here? Did I not tell you I never wanted to see you again? I never wanted to have anything to do with you again. You can just tell he has burnt every single bridge in his life in this line of work. You know, he has had to double cross so many people to get out alive and to get the job done. And yeah, and through this, he also, you know, he gets some of his old buddies killed. He, you know, that other guy is not very keen on working with him again. I haven't played the sequel. I might. Anyway, very good tragic end. And the camera pulls away from the boat there, and you just, you know, I mean, there's not confirmation, but you know she's dead. You know, you see her head go back, the th yeah, yeah. And the... I also think it's one of those that really work, you know, it's just one of those scripted events, because who's to say she wasn't hit, you know? There's constant, I mean, I didn't personally see it, but I certainly remember going and, you know, I think it was me who administered the adrenaline, anyway. There were so many soldiers there, you know, it was a constant battle. This really does, you know, get the feeling of being in a war zone, you really feel like you're there, you know, more than any other game I can really think of that I've played. I mean, I do like Freedom Fighters, but I did find it a bit too, I don't know, I think when I heard it was going to be, you know, guerrilla tactics, I thought it really meant that, I thought that you would get to come up from the sewers anywhere you want, and not just places you had already conquered, but like, sneak in, you know, instead of smaller assaults. Anyway, that's for a completed video. I like that both endings are tragic. I really like that it's this kind of live by the sword, die by the sword. No one gets away scot-free. No one gets away from this kind of work without it getting to them, you know, and he thought that he could at least keep his family out of it. You know, he was ready to die at the beginning of the game. He's like, okay, look, just fine, just... But then he has to protect them, you know, he thought that they were safe, but they're not. And then, you know, he lets Jenny go, and, you know, and of course Lynch is like, I told you not to let her go, like, dude, shut up. Just, and, you know, you know, you know, it wasn't a huge surprise that she had gotten caught again, but it just, you badly want to make sure that they get away alive, you know. And sure, you can save Jenny, but she's gonna hate you. You know, she's like, you are a traitor, just like they said, you know. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have been, but I was really, really shocked when she pulled a gun on Kane. You know, it just, it worked. You were, you were just so into the drama. You know, that's the kind of situation that could come off as melodramatic. Like, oh, come on, you're gonna throw that in there? But no, it just, it worked. He really... You know, there's really that sense of, wow, I really did betray her. You know, I really should have been there for her. That she's, you know, she's she's not even happy that you saved her. She's like, you murderer. It's just, it, fantastic, you know, and how she's, you know, she's too, you know, that's, 
the first time she talks to you in the entire, you know, you see her, you know, two times before that. You see her at the, you know, construction site, I guess it is, but she's way too, you know, upset to say anything. You know, Kane talks to her, but she doesn't. And then, you know, I was a little bit... Okay, she was 16, right? She she could actually drive a car, but she, she was the one driving, wasn't she? I mean, he put her in a car, and... I mean, there wasn't anyone else to go get the driving done. You know, driver and vault breaker were lying back there in the other car, and if they weren't dead, they'd been taken by the cops. Hell, they might have gotten killed on the way out of there, you know. Or just as, like, retribution, you know, the cop is like, we'll just say they shot at us. The... But, but yeah, anyway, you know, you see her at the construction site with that really annoying. That's one of the couple of places in the game where you just have to keep trying and you keep messing it up. You know, but anyway. And then you see her, you know, there with the mine, you know, in the hacienda. And both times she doesn't say anything. You know, Kane talks to her, you know, and the... You know, the survivor, you know, one of the brothers there, I think it might be Beardo, actually says, you know, don't you realize, don't you get it? She doesn't want to be saved by you. I did maybe think that the part about how Lynch was not going to get away with killing that many people, you know, in the bank early on, that that was going to come into play, but I don't know. It did work as, you know, keeping up the, you know, there's no going back. There's no, he's never going to be able to just turn himself in, you know. He's not going to get away with that alive, you know. He had already killed his wife, apparently, but, yeah. And the and just when it happens, you know, I mean, I knew, I knew going into it that he was a psychopath who killed his wife. I'd heard that, but... You know, then you hear over the radio that he's suddenly freaking out and killing people. And then you get up there and he's like, he's shooting the last two or three hostages that you had. And then, you know, Kane sort of realizes, I have to keep a watch on this guy. You know, I cannot let this guy. And, and then he gets, what was her name, y Yoko Ono killed and, you know, just the whole... I like that she spoke in, what was it, Japanese, Chinese... Asianese, sorry, I don't know, when she was talking to her father, you know, and saying, you know, come here, kill this bastard. And, you know, Lynch gets her killed. It wasn't entirely my fault. Yeah, and you have to get away from this botched exchange, you know, and, and then the rest of the game is like a revenge story. I guess that was kind of, you know, how else were they going to keep it going? They had to have some kind of, and the story had to evolve from there, you know, it couldn't have been just mission after mission where you had to do as you were told, you know. I did at first wonder, you know, how, how are they going to keep Lynch there when he's no longer keeping tabs on Kane, but yeah, he's killed, you know, why wouldn't the Seven want him dead? Clearly they weren't going to give him Kane's position. Obviously not. He's just, he's, he's the fall guy, you know, he's, he's, he's not that smart when it comes right down to it, you know, he, he can sort of shoot, you know, but he just, he doesn't know, he doesn't have very good instincts. They were going to kill him and they would have gotten away with it easily. You know, they would have killed Kane. they might have killed his family too, and then they would have killed Lynch, and then they would have been, you know, and they would have started bathing in the money, you know, or whatever. We never did find out what was in the briefcase, right? Just a lot of money, I guess. I did kind of wonder why they had to go to, you know, Retomoto, but I guess they would want to get him out of the equation so that he wouldn't start you know, killing. I mean, he does have this huge corporate building. He's got money, he can hire someone to kill them, and it'll be the best of the best. So yeah, don't want that running. But, I don't know, the menu says that, oh, they needed the money to, you know, keep funding this assault, but I don't know. Anyway, 
well, you know, he does mention that he wants, you know, that, that other guy, the greedy guy, the supposedly greedy guy that then later leaves the team, wants, you know, he's, they're gonna, they're gonna need an extra, they're gonna need a bigger cash thing, yeah. Um, the, yeah, that Lynch kept being there, but yeah, Redimoto definitely wanted him dead, and yeah, already mentioned the seven, so, yeah, I suppose that's about it. Yes. Those were my thoughts on Kane Lynch Deadman. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.